Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kay Sam as always. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and if you're new, you're so much welcome to the home of creativity and of DJs and of music. In today's video, I'm so glad to help you solve a problem, especially not only for DJs but for everybody out there who might want to know how they can extract passwords or expose or even crack in quotes, crack passwords of any RAR file. I'm doing this because I always have DJs coming to my Telegram channel, I mean in my DM asking if I know passwords of specific files and maybe sometimes they are shared by other DJs from other Telegram channels. I want to help you discover that today. So please stick around, subscribe and let's do it. A quick disclaimer here though, this is uh, for educational purposes only. This video is not meant for any illegal use. This is for educational purpose only, so please use it uh, wisely with no illegal intention. I don't promote hacking or black hat hacking or illegal use or cracking of any software or anything on this channel. So please take note of that and let's get right in. So uh, before we even start, there are so many ways of doing this. Uh, and uh, I would start by saying... You, if you want to learn so much about it, you can come to my inbox one-on-one -on, -one on Telegram or on WhatsApp. I have a premium class that is so cheap so I can teach you into details. But for today, we are going to use a, a, a quick tool which is called John the Ripper. Now, John the Ripper is by OpenWall. You can download it from openwall.com, which I'm going to link in the description down below. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, internet on my computer right now. I would just go to the website and show you how it's done. Maybe I can do a later video on on how to download John the Ripper for specific operating systems. For now, we are doing it on Windows and I already have it downloaded. So it's here in my downloads folder. Funny enough, my computer is telling me I downloaded it tomorrow, but please don't mind that. So I have John. This is what you will download. So you'll have to extract it. And I already have it extracted right here in the same folder. And this is John. If you open again, you'll see John the Ripper. So one thing, the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to copy the whole folder that you've extracted, right? This. Just copy it into your C, local disk C, right? And paste it right here. Uh, so if you paste it right here, you can feel free to rename it to any or to anything of your choice. For example, I did it before, so I renamed mine John. I already have it here. It is the same folder because if you open inside, you'll find the same content. So when you go deep into the folder, you'll find three more folders and a readme. So you need this run folder here. Um, so before I go so much into John the Reaper, though, this is uh, going to use your CPU or GPU uh, to use to look for these passwords here. And also for the case of for the case of today's video, I'm going to use a word list. If you don't know what a word list is, a word list is going to be a text document that has so many commonly used passwords and I'm going to put this file also in the description down below so you can get it. I have a very very common one which I'm using for this one. Actually the most popular word list out there on the internet which is called rockview.txt. So it is a text document that has so many so many passwords. So how does it even work? John the Reaper will have to compare uh, the file that you've presented to it to what is in this document here. We don't need to open it at all. This is so heavy. I think it's even going to freeze because it's a big, big list of so many commonly used passwords. If you don't have a word list, though, there are so many ways. You can also use a, a brute force attack, which I'm going to teach you when you come to my, uh, to my inbox. So we didn't even need to open that. That was a mistake. We just needed to have it downloaded and kept. So we kept it here. I decided to keep it here. I don't know if you can keep it elsewhere. But yeah, so we also have uh, john.exe, which is the application that we need for today, uh, which is John the Reaper. Okay, so how do we op how do we install it in the first place? I already have it installed, but if you want to install it, this is what you will do. You will have to come to this line up here, which is uh, the root directory. I mean, which is the directory of John the Reaper. So you click there once, and if it's uh, highlighted in blue, we're going to use the command prompt. So we need to type in c md for the command from i think it's the same thing on windows i mean on, on mac this is for windows so we, we press enter on our keyboard so we have it here so for us to install john the reaper just type in john 
dot exe you know exe is an, ex an executable file so just press enter so when you see all these you have it installed uh, next up we need to present that file whose password we don't know we have to present it to John the Reaper so that he can uh, give us a, a hash file we are going to generate what is called a hash file from it so we have a file here uh, I have a common file I think I'm going to use this one uh, shared us by some right this is something that I used in my previous video uh, and uh, I've just messed with the password a little bit so that I pretend I don't know so when I come to extract it it's going to ask me for the password so when I say one two three the specified password is incorrect okay one two three four um, this is incorrect because this is the password that I gave you in the last video but for now I've changed it so whatever password we enter Oh, this is incorrect. The last time, maybe maybe it's my cart. Okay, oh my car, it's a wrong wrong password. So what we have we have to do is we have to uh, carry this file and present it to John the Reaper so he can generate a hash file for us. If you don't know, uh, okay, it's not going to generate a hash file, but it's going to generate a hash code which we shall use to generate a hash file. If you don't know what a hash file is or a hash code. Come to my premium class. I'm going to teach you for just the price of a cup of coffee so that you can get going. So what we have to do to present this to John, we shall tell him uh, we have we are going to give RAR to John. Okay, just type in RAR to John. This line shows that we are presenting our RAR file to John. If you know the directory of the folder or the path, you can just type it directly. But since we don't know, I'll just come to where the file is, shared us by some, I'll drag. And then uh, take it down to here to, to the command prompt so we have it here once again you can type this if you know it but if you don't do it like me and then press enter um unfortunately I don't know why it's bringing so many it's just going to give us it's supposed to give us one of these lines I don't know why it's generating so many lines I think it's because I'm doing this multiple times on the same file but yes we needed only one of these so I'm going to copy this hash number here or the hash code I hope this really helps us so command C or control C to copy the code and then let's open the notepad right let's open the notepad on our computer so I've been doing this so many times I have uh, already my hash I have so many uh, so I'm going to like clear what was here before and just replace it with my new code that I copied control V right don't don't just ignore anything that happened in between I was trying to close some of these tabs here because I didn't need them so I just need this that we just copied right now and we save it uh, I'm saving it as my hash and I think it's going to my desktop you can choose where to save it yeah choose where to save it by coming to save us and then save it somewhere so I have it as my hash and desktop right there already exists so let's replace it though so while we are here we have the word list that I show you once again I told you before that John the Reaper will have to compare the passwords that are in the word list with uh, this hash file if it finds a common password it's going to tell us this is the last step so please make sure you subscribe if you're still watching after this time and then click that notification bell or leave a comment so there are many word lists out there but the most popular one is of course uh, rockyou.txt so we are going to call the name hi john just type in john today okay we are using a word list which is equal to rockyou okay dot txt it's a text file so we are telling him using the word list rockyou.txt comma means space not comma right space it uh, compare for us this hash file and see try to get a password we generated the hash file by saving it in notepad and it was on our desktop so let's just come back to the desktop and we see if we can drag this yep so my hash we shall hold it and drag it into john the reaper in front of it here once again if you know this path of the file just type it directly so press enter and see if we can get some password here yeah we were very lucky we got the password here 
So where it tells you press Q or Control C to abort, below it is the password. So it's telling us the password is 11223344. Okay, that, that was very lucky of us. So we have it here, 11223344. So let's go back to Shaders by Sam and try this password out. Remember, we didn't know the password for Shaders by Sam. So Shaders by Sam is here. And then let's try to extract it. And yes, we asked for the password. It told us 11223344. So it was 11223 and then 44. Okay, so we have it. There you saw it was opened and that was so quick and fast. But something that I want to let you know though uh, is, is that John the Reaper uses your CPU or the GPU to try and get the passwords for you. So this was pretty simple and using a word list was fast and fast. Once again, there are very many ways of doing this. Very, very many options. Some are even faster than this. So John the Reaper will depend on your the power of your PC or the power of your CPU or your GPU. For some people, it might be slow. But for me, it was so quick because I'm using a super heavy one. You never know. Yeah, so that is it. If you want to learn more about other options, please hit me in the DM. I'm going to teach you on my premium uh, channels how to do all these things here. Once again, this video was for educational purposes only. Try this out. Uh, do some practice and present it to the Telegram channel. In case you need any help, please type it in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll hope to see you in the next video. Peace.